Wondering what the differences are between ospreys and eagles? We're here to help clear up some facts and help you tell them apart. First off, their hunting style is different. We have dive bomb versus ambush and forage. Ospreys are specialized hunters that almost exclusively eat live fish. They hover over water before plunging feet first into the surface to snatch fish with their talons. Their success rate is around 70%, which is incredibly high for raptors. They can adjust for water refraction and aim with pinpoint precision. Their dives are often dramatic, earning them the nickname Nature's Most Dramatic Fisher. Eagles, particularly bald eagles, are more opportunistic. While they also eat fish, they rarely dive. Instead, they skim the surface or even steal fish from ospreys. Eagles are generalist predators and scavengers. If it's edible, they'll consider it. Studies show bald eagles will eat waterfowl, carrion, reptiles, and even garbage. They've been known to hang out near dumpsters. What about their anatomy, specialized tools versus an all-purpose build? Ospreys have semi-zygodactyl feet, two toes forward and two back, and one reversible foot, which helps grip slippery fish. Their feet also have spiny foot pads called spicules that function like built-in fish grabbers. Their nostrils close when they dive, and their feathers are waterproof, traits extremely rare among raptors. Eagles have the typical raptor foot structure, three toes forward and one back, and stronger, thicker legs built for handling a very wide variety of prey. Their feathers aren't designed for submersion, and they're not particularly aerodynamic in water. Eagles are built like tanks. Ospreys are built like spear fishers. Here's a fun fact. Ospreys are so unique that they belong to their own family, Pandionidae. Eagles belong to the Accipitridae family, along with hawks and kites. Let's talk about their nesting habitats, platform architects versus forest builders. Ospreys are open platform nesters. They build giant stick nests on treetops, utility poles, or even human-made platforms near water. Once they find a nesting site, they return every year, adding material until the nest can reach over 10 feet deep and weigh hundreds of pounds. Nest success depends heavily on proximity to clean water and abundant fish. Eagles, especially bald eagles, also build enormous nests, but they often choose large mature trees near water bodies. Their nests can get even bigger, up to 13 feet deep and 2,000 pounds in extreme cases. Eagles begin nesting earlier in the season than ospreys, often giving them a timing advantage in competing for territory. What about their distribution? Ospreys are found on every continent except Antarctica. They have four recognized subspecies, including populations in Australia, the Caribbean, and Europe. They do adapt well to human-made structures and are often seen nesting on channel markers, cell towers, and docks. Bald eagles, on the other hand, are limited to North America. They're often thought of as migratory, but many remain year-round where food sources are consistent. Other eagle species, like the African fish eagle, overlap ecologically with ospreys, but rarely in the same densities. How about taxonomy? Family ties versus solo evolution. Ospreys are evolutionary loners. They're the only living members of their genus, Pandion. Their fish hunting adaptations are so specific that there's no close relative within the raptor world. Eagles are part of a much larger diverse family. Bald eagles are in the genus Haliatus, along with sea eagles and other white-tailed eagles like the African fish eagle. These birds share more traits with hawks and kites than they do with ospreys. Some biological insights are that molecular studies confirm that ospreys split off early in the evolutionary tree of raptors. One reason they're classified separately despite superficial similarities to sea eagles. So next time you see a big bird flying with a fish, take a closer look. You might just be watching two entirely different strategies evolve in real time. If you like this video, check out some of our other bird profiles.